Hello there guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Andy the Player, because I'm a player baby. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer your files from your Oculus Go or Quest device to your computer. Now, if like me, you record your footage and pull it for the world to see on YouTube, you might be thinking, oh, how do I get my content off my device onto my computer? It's really easy, really simple and straightforward to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, before we begin, I'll say that there's two ways of doing this. There's the long, really stupid way of doing this and the really easy and just recommended way of doing it. The, the long-winded and stupid way is uh, casting it. So if you didn't know, you can cast from your um, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest device to a monitor or your big screen TV for you know all your friends to see what you can see while playing. Now that is a clever feature to do, but if you wanted to record that footage, you could do that, I guess. It's a very long way of doing it. There's, there's no reason why you want to do it that way, but you can do, the feature is there. Or the other way is recording the footage on the, on the actual device itself. Just literally simply click record and your whole footage of whatever or pictures that you're trying to do or take is being recorded. And then once uh, that is done, you, you it saves automatically to like a hard drive. And then from there, you can then transport it over to your uh, laptop, uh, PC, computer, whatever. And that's what we're gonna be showing you today. Now this feature works on both devices. The only thing that is different on both the devices is what particular lead that you have. Now the good thing about the Go is that the connection is a micro USB. However, on the Oculus Quest, the connection is a type C. Now that's all good, it's all well and dandy. However, the cables that they come with aren't as, <laughs> aren't as good and a bit frustrating. Now the Oculus Go comes with a USB-A and a micro USB connection. So that is great to put that straight in from one end into your computer, that's fine. However, with the Oculus Quest uh, cable, we've got two different connections and they are both the same. They are both type C. So type C on one end will go into the Oculus uh, Quest itself. But the other end, if your computer or your laptop doesn't have a type C connection, you're not gonna be able to transfer over, which is very frustrating. I realized this once I uh, actually bought the device and you're, you're, you're stuck, you're screwed. Because on my laptop, this is quite a bit of an older MacBook now, but I've only got USB connections on that side and on this side, it's just, um, it's just a disk drive. I've got no type C. So yeah, I don't know why Oculus brought out this on the Quest that on this lead that there's no USB connection. Really frustrating. So the only way around it is you're gonna to have to get yourself an adapter to go on the end of the type C or you've got to get a new lead um, altogether. I thankfully have got a I've got a DJI drone and the connection for that has I'll show you right here I've got a USB um, I think it's A is it and then a type C so then the type C will go straight into my Oculus Quest going straight down here and then the other end will go into my computer, my laptop. So yeah, that is something that you're gonna have to remember. Again, if you've already got a Type C on your computer, laptop, you're fine, you don't need to worry about whatever I just said, but if you don't have a Type C on your computer, then you're gonna wanna hunt around for the, the right Pacific lead or just spend a few pound dollars pesetas, whatever, uh, euros on an actual lead that will work. So if we go ahead and start the transporting of our files, we'll show you how easy it's done. Now, before you start plugging in, if you have a MacBook like me, you're gonna have to download a really small file so that the uh, software can read the quest and transport and all your files over. So on my computer, you wanna download something called Android File Transfer. If you want the web browser, it's just android.com slash file transfer. Just literally go and download now 
and um, yeah, just save that to your computer. I've already done it, so there's no reason to do it, but it's a completely safe website. It's legit, it's from Android. There's nothing wrong with it. If you have a Windows or Chrome computer, you don't need this software. It's already built into your computer. You just need to download it if you've got a Mac. And now, uh, once you've downloaded that, you want to plug in your device. So put the USB in on this side and then the Type-C connection into the Quest. When you plug it in, you will get a notification in your uh, headset saying, do you allow for this computer to read your files? You actually just want to put your headset on and you get your controller and you just literally just want to click allow. And that's it. And when you plug it in, it should pop up with your Quest folder. This is everything that is uh, on my Oculus Quest. If this doesn't pop up, then you're gonna wanna just go on, um, look for Android file transfer. I've docked mine in a little docking tray, so it's always there. But yeah, this, this is everything. Now, if you've recorded gameplay on here and wanna find it, it comes under video shots. It's right here. So at the moment, I've got two, four, I've got five different video files that I've captured on my device and are now shown up here. So you can select all of these or you know just select them all individually. And then to get these over onto a computer, it's literally just drag and drop. It's just so easily. So I'm gonna hover over this one drag it into my desktop and let go and it's so quick because it's a type c connection type c is very fast so quick we're talking like gigabyte data of uh, files here and it transfers over in 10 20 30 seconds very quick so that is now on my desktop and that is a gameplay footage that i did did earlier and there it is right there to to see so i can you know edit whatever i want to do with that youtube it whatever if you've got any pictures or snapshots that you've actually taken they will i don't think i've got any i don't i don't know if they're on the thumbnails i think there's something else i think they're thumbnails of games they're going to be somewhere around here i don't have any pictures so i can't show you but the main thing is going to be videos and it's going to be under oculus and then video shots um, is there. That is literally it. So once you've got all your files transferred over, um, you can just close this down, take the lead out, and that's it, you're good to go. And then you can go ahead and delete them off your Oculus Quest to make some space and yeah, whatever you want. But again, that is the same process for the Oculus Go. There is absolutely no difference. Just again, if you've got Mac, you need to download that Android file transfer to transfer from one device to your computer. If you've got a Windows PC or Chrome, then you don't need to. It's already built into your computer. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is how you transfer your files from your portable Oculus device over to your computer. If you've got any questions, um, please let us know. If not, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please share this with anyone else if they're having troubles with their own device or if they're thinking of entering the world of virtual reality or even being a YouTuber and creating your own videos and thinking, how the hell do I transfer my videos onto YouTube? It's so confusing. Well, yeah, don't worry. It's very simple. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Andy the Player. Keep playing as always. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.